Okay, question number five from the Core Mathematics 3 C3 Solomon paper. This is from the Solomon papers. Okay, so this is a collection of papers taken from some really old papers. These are called the Solomon papers, and this is paper L. Um, one of my students has asked me to answer this question. It says, find the values of x in the interval of x between minus 180 and 180 degrees for which tan of x plus 45 degrees minus tan x degrees equals 4. Giving your answers to one decimal place. Okay, now, when you've got something like this, okay, this is called a compound angle, where you've got like um, your x plus something. Now, what we want to do here is we want to try to uh, express this so we don't have something like here this because this this is tan x and this is tan x plus 45 so I want to have tan x's on their own so what we can do is we can go to our formulae and we can see that we have in C34 trig identities and there's one here that's going to help us this identity here which is there we have it tan A plus B, let me just paste it here, move it out of the way, okay, so this identity is going to help us here, so you can see you've got tan A plus B, so tan X plus 45, so it's like the X is like our A and the 45 is like our B, so we can say the tan of x plus 45 is equal to or identical to tan a so it's tan of x okay plus here plus on top plus tan of b which our b is 45 over 1 and you're going to have a minus you see this is, when there's a plus here that becomes a minus here there's a plus here, so that will be a minus tan of x times tan of 45 so hopefully that will help us now to um, be able to solve this because now we have split up the tan x's away from the tan 45's. Now we know that the tangent of 45 is equal to 1. Okay, if you don't believe me, you can just put in here tan 45 equals 1. Okay, so this is going to become the tan of x plus 1 over 1 minus the tangent of x because this is become, going to become 1 and this is going to become 1 so that makes the things a bit easier we can replace tan x plus 45 with tan x plus 1 over 1 minus tan x so let's see what happens now so you have tan x plus 1 over 1 minus the tangent of x and that's equal to or minus tan x sorry minus tan x and that's equal to 4 Okay, so what I can do is I can multiply both sides of this equation by 1 minus tan x. So I'll have tan x plus 1 minus tan x times 1 minus tan x equals 4 times 1 minus 1 minus tan x. All right, that got rid of the fraction. I multiplied by this, so to get rid of the fraction, I have to multiply every term by it. So now we're getting some, we've got tan x plus 1 minus tan x plus tan squared x equals 4 minus 4 tan x okay so tan x minus tan x is 0 so on this side I'm going to be left with tan squared x plus 4 tan x and I'm going to have 1 minus 4 which is minus 3 equals 0. So I have a quadratic equation with just tan x in it. And if you want to make life easy for yourself, you can say let y equal tan x. And then you can just say alright, this is like y squared plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. So we think about two numbers, when we multiply them we get minus 3 and when we add them we get plus 4. Um, minus 3 times minus 1 gives you plus 3 and the, no there's not going to be any numbers I don't think this can factorize okay it cannot factorize because you're going to have only 3 in 1's 3 times 1 and they have to be different signs okay let's just make sure we didn't make a silly mistake here got minus 3 so we had tan x plus 1 um, 
Yeah, one, four, one minus four is minus three, plus four x. Yep, that's fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, we can complete the square of this. So we can say, all right, we're gonna have y plus two squared minus four equals three. I've just taken that three over to this side in one step. Okay, so I've completed the square for this. That will give me y squared plus 4y um, plus 4 minus 4. Good. All right. So we're going to have y plus 2 squared is equal to 7. So we can say that y plus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 7. So y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 7. So now we can say that tan x is either minus 2 plus root 7 or tan x is minus 2 minus root 7. So let's see all the solutions we can get for this. Okay, so we're going to have, and we can just, you want to just make sure, sometimes it's nice to make sure that we got the right answer. You can do that here. You look for the quadratic, which is ax squared plus bx plus equals 0. That's number 3. And you put in the value of a, which was 1, and you put in the value of b, you press equals, it gives you, that's 4y, and equals, you put minus 3, and it will give you the solutions, which are minus 2 plus root 7, and minus 2 minus root 7. So we're, we're sure that we got the right answer now. All right, so now let's, we need to calculate it back again. Let's go back to normal mode. Okay, we're in degree mode. Yes, we are. So we want to find what x is, so I'm going to press um, inverse tan of minus 2 plus root 7 and that will give me one solution which is 32.852 32.852 I'll look at other solutions afterwards uh, in fact I'll do it all in one go now this repeats every 180 degrees okay so there'll be another solution 180 degrees the tan curve repeats just every 180 degrees the same value you get the same and the same value you'll get at 32.8 degrees and 180 after it and at 180 before it. But we only want the solutions between, um, or we want them from minus 180 to plus 180. Okay, so if I add 180 to this, I'll be out of the range. But if I take away 180 from this, I'm going to be inside the range. So 32.852, 32.852. Minus 180 will give me another solution. Okay, so I get this answer here and I take away 180 from it and I should be within the range. That's going to be minus 147.148. Minus 147.148. So my solutions from this are going to be to one decimal place 32.9 and minus 147.1. Now I've got the solutions from this. So when I put this in my calculator, okay, I have the tan of x, so shift tan of m uh, minus 2 minus root 7. Close the bracket. That gives me minus 77.852. Minus 77.852, which is in our range. Now if I take away 180 away from this, it's going to take me out of the range. But if I add 180 to this, it will, it will be in the range still. So if I add 180 to this, it will give me 102, 1, 102, which is in the range 102.148, 148. So my other answers are going to be negative 77.9 and 102.1. So here are the four answers to one decimal place which satisfy this equation. I think that's it. Yep, one is more place.